Um, but speaking of dead musicians, mm. have you guys heard of the Tesla gun? No. Oh my gosh. I know that like guy created a flamethrower. I'm talking about Nikola Tesla. Ooh. Oh. No, 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 no. He invented a weapon. Oh. Nice. That I just discovered. Good for him. This week. Have you also heard of the Tunguska event? <laughs> no. Hmm. I'm batting a thousand today. I have no idea what any of those are. Me neither. The Tesla gun also had a nickname called the Tesla Death Ray. Nice. Are you ready for this? Yes. I can't believe no one's funding my death ray. <laughs> get funding for it. What's wrong? Uh, so we all know Nikola Tesla invented a lot of things. Yeah. Yes. Like I think someone said like 70 something percent of the inventions today are from what Tesla discovered. Yeah. He was a pioneer. Yeah. Um, but he wanted to invent this weapon, wanted to, to usher in world peace yeah. because he's like, this weapon has the capability to wipe out entire armies. Oh, no. In a second. Cool. And he's like, and so his thought is like, well, if everyone in the nation had this weapon, world peace. Like, we're all good. This was obviously before the atomic bomb. Atomic bomb. <laughs> um, yikes. Um, is that what their philosophy was, too? If we create know, something dangerous was. enough, everyone's everybody will gonna, stop fighting. It's going to get along. <laughs> all right. So here's how it happened. <sighs> Here we go. Here we go. Dive it in. Get on your right. goggles. There was this man. His name was a uh, Admiral Robert Perry. Okay. And he was going to do an expedition to the North Pole. Mm-hmm. Cool. And he was going to be the first one, him and his team, to cross the North Pole, explore it, whatever, or at least what we know of. And um, the difficult part was the terrain and weather. All It's so incredibly dangerous and rough that they needed a way to communicate to anyone. Yeah. Um, so he approached Tesla and Tesla's, the Tesla tower that Tesla had could transmit radio waves all over the world. Wow. So this guy was the first experiment to yeah. like, Hey, I'm going to be in the North pole. I'm going to be radioing in to you, mm-hmm. all this stuff. So it was a test, whatever. Um, and they were on an Island just, um, what was it? Just South of the North pole. And uh, Robert Perry basically called in. He's like, are you getting my signal? Blah, blah, blah. And Tesla's like, I'm yeah, getting it. And Tesla's like, I'm going to do something. He said, I'm going to send a light signal, or I'm going to send a signal. Yeah. Look up at the sky. Um, and the Perry said, uh, well, what am I looking for? And Tesla said, uh, you'll know when you see it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. You'll get it. So he cranked up his Tesla tower, like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. And what this Tesla tower did was it basically it harnesses electricity from the atmosphere. Wow. So Tesla's like, you, we, I have the capability to harness the power of the sun from the atmosphere and disperse it anywhere in the world. Cool. Turns it up. Right? Clicks. Boom. Goes. And it was just this huge oof, the light shot from this thing. Oh, my gosh. And, and killed a small village. Tesla's like... This was successful. I sent this beam of yeah. light. And basically he was going to, like, it was supposed to be this crazy light show in the sky. Like, mm. that would shoot over this guy. Yeah. And Tesla went at the whatever it was and looked at the readings and literally said, oh, no. <gasps> what? He what? killed a guy? Listen. No. <laughs> I this is where the conspiracy part comes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That same day... All the way in Siberia. Oh, no. Which is a direct line from Rhode Island over the earth to this one spot in it's Siberia. Like on the opposite yeah. Sides? yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's witnesses that talk about this major explosion. Oh, no. And um, in the force, it was literally in the middle of nowhere in Siberia. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so no one died. Good. But within, that it was. But in, what about the tree? An 800 square mile part of the forest. 800 miles. Burnt to a crisp. <gasps> Trees were leveled instantly. Oh my gosh. And they're they're like, oh, it must have been a meteor. No crater. Wow. There was no one. This was before atomic bombs. So did it go through? Did it, it go it around? Went, it went. It went into the atmosphere 
And the theory and directly. is, and just shot and hit the earth, and instantly, 800 square miles went. Oh my gosh! But there are people. This is where it gets crazy. Yeah. It was so powerful, it's already crazy, <laughs> that people in as far as the UK, oh no, felt the ground Stop shake. It. And then for weeks after that, all across Europe, the sky at night was lit up with these like almost like aurora lights. Yeah, but it was so bright that there's a man I think in like Paris or something. He said that he could read a book at midnight. For how long? For a couple weeks. What? And <laughs> this is no. Wacky. This this would yes. explain why the like technology is buried. Yeah. And well, this is the crazy thing. When Tesla um went to the US government to file patents for this, yeah. they kept on rejecting them. Yeah, because it's and like, they were trying to cut his funding. Yeah. To for him not to build this. Yes. But he built it anyways. Oh no. And then after he died, they tore down his tower and stuff. And took it to their own plant. But it makes you wonder, did the government, does someone have this capability now? Guaranteed. You thought that was a radio tower at the Colorado airport? Mm. Oh, shoot. But what if it's like, so you're saying like they have to harness it and like they figured out how to like direct it. Because it obviously seems like, is it like yeah. a, one of the things that shot up and almost like, he like, overshot. A, like, like a magnet, like so, just because it came like directly underneath it. Basically, right? Like it wait, what? traveled to the other side of the world, right? right? It, it, shoot, it shoots Heat. Up. Yeah, shoot so, up and then it went around, but it was right underneath it, like on the other side of the plant, right? Uh, not on the other side. It's it a like, 180, not a 360. Yeah, kind of like if this is the earth, it was like if he's here, it like went to here. Yeah, but then it, it but went into the atmosphere. It's almost like, it, yeah, because then it came, but it came back into our atmosphere. So it goes like, up to, and it was down. like It was like it was going towards the, the, think the of thing, it, the tower it, that this it was is really what, Think of it like a mirror like this. Maybe. I don't, I don't really <laughs> know yeah. the science. Yeah. But... The, if you look on a map, there's Rhode Island, and then there's the um, island where Admiral uh, Robert Perry was at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was a direct line. And then if you continue that direct line, ex- exactly the, where this yeah, the, the other Tunguska to event Got happened. It. Golly. Oh. Okay. I mean, it is literally the magnetic pole, and we do know that light is somehow affected by gravity. So if he's transferring energy and light, then it could have been pulled down. If it, that's what I'm saying. If it's returning to the, oh. the, the base... Yeah. Like, and I'll admit, I don't side, understand it's the, the ground poles. first. Like, uh, it's in the surface. But they said that... Oh, my goodness. This they, is so weird. The people that were reporting around this place in Siberia, like, all in Russia and stuff, they said the sky, it looked... There's a second sun. Oh, my gosh. And everything shook. Like, some people's houses were just completely, like, destroyed, like, thousands of miles away. Oh, my know, gosh. Just because of the shock wave. Golly. They felt it all the way through Europe. What year was this? Do we know? This was uh, early 1900s. Golly. So what do you think the the friend said? You know, because he's like, oh, oh, you'll see it. You think he was like... <laughs> he's like... Yep. No, I think no, I think he said, like, I didn't see anything. And Tesla, yeah. that's where he's just like, oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but that's yeah. That's literally just like the movie in The Prestige when he's, like, trying to um, teleport things. Oh, yeah. He doesn't think it's working, and then he goes outside, and there's, like, 10,000 hats. <laughs> so I thought that was insane. Yeah. That and is terrifying. That is super terrifying. That's but actually, you, should, you guys should look it up. We'll, I think we'll, like, throw a picture or two up of the, te- te- what is it? I can't really say it. Death Ray. Tunguska event. Oh, oh got it, yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. nuts. I mean, these trees are just, like, <laughs> flattened. I wonder if there's Crazy. still remnants of like, like enter like a uh, like I don't know like not radiation, but like there's got to be some yeah. evidence of what happened there still. There it was a like bit. he he just it was um, energy. It, yeah. There was yeah. no like. Man, that's weird though. It's man. weird, right? Yeah, because it's energy's so got to go somewhere. Yeah, energy has to go somewhere. So it's hitting that ground. Oh, that's weird. That's strange. Yeah, Crazy. That, on that topic though, do you guys remember? I think it was in like 2014 or something. That meteor that entered the air in Russia. <laughs> mm-hmm. You remember that? Nope. It was um, 60 feet wide, and it was the largest ever recorded meteor to come into our atmosphere that was, like, recorded, yeah. you know? And it, like, you guys need to see the videos. It's nuts. Like, all through Russia, all these windows are just, like, psh, like, through the whole Russia thing. Country. <laughs> the Russia <laughs> thing. Uh, my brain's the been Russian really place, yeah. You know, uh, the Russia you're, thing. You're Russian you. through the Russian stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Um, but I bet you, man, yeah. somebody has that technology still. Yeah. 